Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Discover Angling. I'm your host, Pat, and today's episode is going to be all about smallmouth on Lake St. Clair. Uh, me and Northern Mike went out on May 11th, 2022, and we just happened to catch that right, lo that right little window, uh, that right little recipe for a really good day of smallmouth fishing. Uh, primarily, we were using jerkbaits. Um, I was using mostly the Rapallo Shadow Wrap Shad in a couple different colors, white, and then the other one was, I don't know the name of the exact color, it was the one that kind of looks like an emerald shiner. Uh, Mike was using an, a Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one in the white color. He did really well. Uh, we both did pretty well. Um, we also mixed in some drop shotting. We had some live minnows with us just in case lures didn't work. Um, we wanted to have minnows as a backup, but um, once the lures worked, we also realized we got this bucket of minnows that we can't just let go to waste. So we threw some minnows on and we did some drop shotting. Um, the conditions were pretty good. It was about day three, I think, of a warming trend that's been going on. So water temperature wise, we were looking at 58 degrees. Uh, clarity wise, we were looking at probably three to five feet of visibility. You'll notice in the video, it was that magical turquoise, uh, emerald green kind of color that Lake St. Clair gets. Uh, so there was um, just enough stain in the water to where the fish were not super spooky. You can get kind of close to them. I mean, you know, you had to cast for them, but they weren't, it wasn't the crystal clear conditions that spook fish, you know, 60 yards away. So um, no, great day. And um, it was a lot of fun. So appreciate you tuning in. Enjoy the show. Dude, there's a major current here. Yeah, that really surprises me. Oh, that might be fish of the day, I think. That's a good one. Here, I got my my cameras going. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Dude, it is. Mm. All right, I'm switching to white. This perch thing isn't doing it. Oh, pause us here for a sec. That's the only thing I don't like about your baits is getting 20 hooks in them. Northern Mike with the uh, Mega Bass Jerkbait Smalley. Lake St. Clair, looking good. Emerald Shiner. Emerald Shiner. Oh, there you go. I don't know if that's the official color name, it's just what it looks like. No, I actually think that's Haystack, believe it or not. Oh, yeah? Well, I think I just found a needle in the haystack, boy. Ooh, boy. <laughs> there he is. Jerkbait day on Lake St. Clair. Here he is again. I'm so glad we're finding him, like, right outside the metro. For those of you who are paying... Oh, ooh, oh, that was almost a disaster. Oh, my goodness. Jeepers. Another Lake St. Clair guy here. Cool. So my Rapalas are doing okay today. It'd be nice if I didn't lose my white one. I think I'm gonna be bitter about that all day long. But this is the Rapala, this is the Rapalo Shad, Rapala Shadow Wrap Shad Deep 09. So it goes a little bit deeper than your standard jerk bait. And we're fishing in about seven feet of water. Yep. Casting towards oh, the shore here. We're in 10 now. 10? Okay. So it's been anywhere between six and 10 feet along the shoreline, casting towards the shore. 
and they're hitting jerk baits. We are on what day three of a warm front warm up. Oh, speaking of warm ups, Mike's got one. Maybe it will. You got it? Yep. Another one and a half, two pounders, standard. Still though, I mean that's yeah, you know what's know, you know what yeah. we gotta quit doing Not and complaining. yeah right. All anglers have got to stop saying okay if you don't catch a four pounder it's like oh he's yeah. kind of small. I never say that. Yeah. I do. I do a lot and I need to cut it out. <laughs> Here, hold him up for the. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Pretty one. Yep. I'll take him. Excellent. I don't think it's very big. Nice little, little cookie cutter. All right, cool. Thank you, Mike. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take those all day. <laughs> I'll figure that part out later. Got one? Yep. Dude, that's the second time we've gotten one back to back. <laughs> You're like, use the net, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna. Another that's white jerk bait. Dink of the day right there. I think mine might have been dinkier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were close. Cool. Got to show some love for our Mondo <laughs> Lake St. Clair rock bass right here, man. Yeah. Mike with the rock bass, the rock bass of the century here. Oh that thing is God. huge. Come here, they never stop shaking. Dude, bump board. That's yeah, a. I, mean, I don't think that's a. Measure, I don't think it's a master, but it's big. <laughs> the only thing that made it on the bump board today was a damn rock bass. <laughs> Ooh, almost 11. Dude, you might have 11. Put him. Yeah, put him. but it's 11 and a half for Is it, Master. You're angle. kidding it's me. the only one that lands on a half inch. What? Yeah, it's just under 11. Oh, no, actually, with his mouth. Yeah, with his mouth closed, you're right. He is 11. Well, you're always a master to me, Mike. <laughs> Mike's got one on his, what is that, a little like DT4 or something? Uh, six. DT6. And I got a guy drop shot in the minnow here. Oh, that was drop shot. Yeah. I don't know. You know what? I've been fooled before, but this seems like it could be a little bigger. But that's relative, considering they have not been very big.
Oh. Dude, it's like the river, the, the current makes yeah. a difference. Not bad. Thank you. Take those. Yeah. That's a good one. <clears throat> Drop shot and live minnows. We bought some minnows on our way out here, and here you don't want them to go to waste. Whoa! That's a good one. 